everyone welcome to another vlog today we're gonna get into some farm life so if you're excited for today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you are new here then welcome and make sure you're subscribed to the channel down below and all those bell notifications are turned on so you never miss a video let's get straight into it happy to have you all here with us welcome to our life in israel i am taylor and this is idan we have explored many miles together and found ourselves living in israel the last four years in a farm village, you never know who else you're going to meet along the way. This is Bagheera, Bonnie, and Bruce. Who's ready for the next adventure? Click the subscribe button and join us on our journey every single week. Just to give you guys an idea, this entire field is one of those little squares of bollocks, which we call them haystacks, I think. So yeah, you need this whole stretch of land right here to get one of those. Crazy. This field obviously got a lot more. So you all have seen the wheat grow in many different stages. Of course, if you follow me on Instagram at Taylor A. Parnell, I'll put the details down below. You will see more up-to-date videos, but what's really cool here is that as the wheat grows, then it finally dries out in the summer. They chop it down and then they get the tractors to collect everything and put it into little ball oats or what they call them here. Other than that, I call them haystacks. So we got some great footage for you guys. Comment below if you've ever seen this process done and if you'd like to see it as well. All our newbies here, welcome to our channel. We live in Israel. I am originally from San Diego, California. Idan is from Israel as well, but born in America. And we've been living here the last four years together. Bruce and Bonnie are our dogs. And then we also have two cats at home, Bagheera and Buddha. And then we also have a horse named Edward. So if you guys are new here, make sure you're subscribed. You can catch up on all the videos so you can know who is all in part of our family. We also have another family member coming along. So I just would love for you guys to be a part of the journey if you would like to experience it. We appreciate your support and we can't wait to show you more of life here in Israel. This is definitely one of our favorite afternoon activities when it finally cools down here in Israel. The summers are really hot and humid. However, in the afternoon, we're able to get the dogs out, which again, this is one of their favorite things to do with the chuck it. If you have a chuck it, I'm sure you love it just as much as we do. And Bruce and Bonnie are coming up on three years old this next coming up year. So it's just amazing to see how much they've grown on this channel. And of course, we've been so lucky to have them and finding them such a long time ago. It does feel like just yesterday, but they are really growing up. A commonly asked question that I would love to answer. Yes, Bruce, Bonnie's brother, he is a one-eyed dog. He lost his eye when he was a puppy. He went to guard some food in front of a German Shepherd and that German Shepherd got him. And unfortunately he lost his eye in that moment. However, he is a one-eyed dog and he is not acting like it because he definitely lives life to the fullest. He's never even noticing it. So if you guys ever experience something trauma like this or know someone, just know that that dog is gonna live a happy life and won't even realize after the situation happened. I absolutely love filming with the drone. I don't know if you guys love the new drone footage as well. Definitely comment below and let us know so we can know what you guys are looking for in our videos. But again, I just wish the one thing it is missing, of course, is that microphone. Of course, there's other ways and other things I can do to record my voice, but I literally wouldn't mind recording every video with the drone and having it follow me around and stuff. But just know, I really want to give a big props to Idan because he's the one who is being the main pilot with this drone and getting us all this awesome footage. So this is our neighbor's horses. We're just saying hi because as you know me, I can't go a day without seeing a horse.
Israel's yearly wheat production is at 110,000 metric tons. Areas harvested in this small country is around 60,000 acres. However, the top countries leading in wheat production is China and Russia. Even though Israel is not the largest producer in wheat, the length of the production has been a very long time. It is textually connected in the Bible of the Feast of Shavuot is the season of grain harvest, especially of the wheat in the land of Israel. In ancient times, the grain harvest lasted seven weeks and was a season of gladness connected in the Bible. Drop in the comments if you enjoyed those little fun facts or if you knew that already, we would love to know. I do think the hay bales are a lot bigger here in Israel than I've seen them in America. The only reason I know this is I refer to when I feed my horse. Back in America, we used to feed them about two flakes. Here, two flakes is like maybe a third or a fourth of a hay. I keep calling, wanting to call them balots because that's what they call them here in Israel. But that's what, what size they are in America as a haystack. Little update on baby Buddha, he is a couch hog, however, he does love to snuggle with the dogs, terrorize them too sometimes, however, they are fitting in very well together. Now with Bagheera, he definitely has a new best friend, aka his brother from another mother, and they have so much fun together. Idan decided to put on some live videos on the television, so the cats were tripping over like them, and Buddha got a little bit scared, but when he noticed inside. his brother wasn't afraid, then he kind of like peeped back in and how do you feel about it, Buddha? She's fucking nuts, fine. For the cat owners out there, if you have tried this before, comment below and let us know. It's absolutely hilarious. And if you have not tried this, to your cats or your dogs please do it right away and if you do send us a video or tag us we will definitely make sure to feature you or give you a shout out
Let's be real. These two kitties always have us cracking up. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And make sure all your bell notifications are turned on so that you never, ever miss a video. We've been so thankful to have you tuning in with us. And wanted to give a shout out to my girl, Michelle, in South Africa. Thanks so much for tuning in and commenting on our last video. We enjoyed having you with us. And thanks for subscribing and turning on all those bell notifications. If you want a shout out, make sure you do the same. And we'll see you all on the next video.